You can put so much work into designing really cool car liveries in Gran Turismo Sport. And while it may take some time, even making the most incredible designs is really just a matter of overlaying elementary shapes. Guys, let's grab some decals and tear it up. What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Gran Turismo Sport and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this game, particularly in designing vinyls for the cars. I've had a lot of fun doing these designs and last night I spent quite a bit of time doing this Dark Dally themed livery for my Renault RS01 GT3. I, I really like the car. I, I liked this car as soon as I started driving it and and I decided, okay, I'm going to put a really cool livery on this one. So I, go, I want to show you guys some of what goes behind making a complex livery like this. I'm sure a lot of you guys have made way cooler stuff than I could, but I'm pretty proud of this one. A lot went into it because there's not a lot of tools available yet. I say yet because I suspect that Polyphony is going to put some more tools in here for us. They are going to put some way to import some kind of media files from your PC into the game for sure but as of right now even the online manual is not complete yet i actually went to the online manual at grandturismo.com and there's not even a section yet for livery editing so you kind of got to figure it all out yourself so here's what went into this it's actually well there's wait let's see there's 78 layers in the body so yeah qu quite a bit unfortunately let's go over here unfortunately there is no way to copy paste or precisely size anything like back here on these letters, this was actually really difficult because for some reason, the D-pad, when you're manipulating these, let's go ahead, let's edit this L right here. Edit decal. Notice the controls at the bottom of the screen. There's no controls for the D-pad, which seems to me because the uh, right stick does scale, you would think that it would make the D-pad do precision scale, but they don't. So you have to scale everything with the stick, making it exceedingly hard to do lettering like that and line it up. That was, I was really proud of that. That took a long time. And uh, this stuff here, I'll show some of that on screen. And then uh, we'll start something new and I'll show you some of the controls and maybe some of the tricks that maybe some people haven't figured out and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here, show you on screen some of what went into this. Really the hardest part was the youtube.com thing on the back because I had to do it actually a couple times even getting it perfect and then I saw that it was too long and I had to move it and moving it meant moving each and every letter individually. It's a real pain. They need to have some way for us to copy and paste groups of, of you know, vinyls, decals, whatever. And there needs to be some kind of way, like if you want to type a word, I, it would be cool if I could have just typed that out, but instead I had to do each letter individually and they definitely need some kind of tool to precisely size these letters. And I have no doubt that a lot of this stuff is going to come into play. As I've said, they, they are going to be adding some way to import graphics from your computer into the game. I mean, unless you're playing on PC, you know, in which case I'm sure it'd be much easier. As of right now, of course, I'm playing on PS4, as you guys probably have deduced from looking at my screen. And at least right now on PS4, there is no way to uh, import graphics or anything. You've got to draw them all right here. I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to grab another car and we're gonna do something cool. I have an idea. Well, we're gonna start on something cool. I'm gonna kind of work on it some more later. I have a cool idea. I've got this M6 GT3 and there's nothing on it and I'd like to put something on it. So here we are with my BMW M6 GT3 down here in the livery editor. I've stripped off the old livery and I wanna do something cool. And what I was thinking about doing was I wanna make like a cool dragon wrapping around it. I know that sounds pretty ambitious. It kind of is but I have some ideas on what I might want to do. First of all, if you're not familiar with the livery editor, when you first get here, you're you greeted with this menu right here. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to change the color. I'm thinking about light blue background. That could change. For right now, at, at this point in the menu, you can just paint all or the wheels. Once you paint the car, you can then choose individual parts of it. I'm thinking a light sky blue. That's what I'm going to go with right now. That could likely change. Once we go ahead, and confirm this. Now here we are, we're able to paint the other stuff and we're just gonna leave that alone for now. I wanna get on to the, the decals themselves. I'll leave the wheels alone as well. Although one thing I do wanna say about wheels, I know probably a lot of people have run into this. When I first started this game, I used some mileage points, I bought some wheels and then I came here and I couldn't put them on and I was baffled. Um, some cars simply don't take them, don't, won't, won't take wheels or certain wheels and it won't tell you. My first car, I don't know if it's the same for everyone. My first car was this little Impreza WRX. 
I bought these spiffy wheels down here, which I ended up using on my Renault. Anyway, I bought I bought uh, these wheels down here, and they didn't show up in the menu, and I was just like, what am I doing wrong, you know? Well, some cars simply don't take wheels. Let's go on to the decals. So we can choose our work area here. We're just going to go with body. We, I mean, we could choose hood, work on the hood. One weird thing about this hood body thing is that the whole body, you can make a decal that really goes around the entire body. That, that includes everywhere. Everywhere, you could make a thing that wraps around from the front bumper, the sides, the rear bumper, up onto the roof. But for some reason, for whatever reason, the hood is a separate area and you'd have to switch to this. That kind of threw me off a little bit when I was doing my Dark Dally GT3 car. But we're going to start with a new layer. You can choose where you want the camera position, but it doesn't matter. I can start on the left side, which is usually where I start because I prefer, I like to work outdoors. I like the outdoor background and the left has the best lighting. We got our basic shapes and stuff to choose from now. Okay. I decided I wanted like a cool dragon, like wrapping around. So here's some ideas that I've got. One big thing about making real complicated designs, because I've done this with livery editors in previous games, such as Forza is when you want to make a really cool drawing, you want to draw it out of really basic shapes. One of my favorite livery designs I ever did was on a car back in Forza. I don't remember which Forza, but uh, I did like this really crazy airbrush skull on the hood of the car and had like 250 some layers. And what it was, was it was just stacks and stacks of little tiny triangles of different, you know, of the correct color, slowly, you know, forming the shape. And I think that's what I want to do here, something like that. So we can move this around with the left stick. Now here's some controls that some people may not have figured out right at the start. The right stick, and I've, I've done this a lot, you'll probably all do this a lot if you're just starting off doing this, the right stick changes the scale and it changes it, it keeps the aspect ratio of the thing equal as you move up and down, it doesn't matter if you hit left, right, up or down, it it keeps it square. What I'm saying people might do, because I do this all the time, I try to change the view and I hit the right stick instinctively to change the view and then it changes my scale. It's really kind of, it's kind of odd, you gotta remember to hold R1 and then you can use the right stick to change your view or zoom and stuff like that. Now the skew, which is the left shoulder button, uh, this is this is used for a couple things, and this is going to be really useful because I want to turn this shape into the start of the head of a dragon. Um, I'm going to combine a lot of shapes, and I think I want to use this one first. And the way we're going to do this, if you hold L1, both your your sticks get different controls. Now, the left one tilts. This lets you actually skew it, which I like, and this is this is like integral into making certain shapes into other shapes. You can skew it up and down, left, right, or you're going to skew it in different ways. The right stick is what you're going to want to use to change the scale, you know, change the aspect ratio and the scale at the same time. So if you want to make something, if you want to take a stripe, if you want to put a stripe along the, say, the top of the car, you would, you could, you could put a square, use the, whoops, see, I just did it trying to move my camera. You could put a square, hold L1 using the skew and then use your right stick to just stretch that square out into a stripe that, that span the entire car and such and you know so on. Now this is a car I want to be working on in some future videos because I want to end this here pretty quickly. I want to get a little start on what I'm doing and then we'll tie this up. Most everything is easy to figure out because all the controls are listed here. There's really nowhere else to get them other than YouTube videos such as this or any other guides on the internet because if you go to GranTurismo.com there is no livery editing section of the manual as of yet. At least there was not last night when I checked this video. As of this video, it's about two weeks after the release of this game. They are holding off on a lot of these features because of, you know, they don't want to overload the servers with stuff. That's the reason I read, hey, I'm fine with that. I know there's a lot more to come to this game. All right, let's see what we can get done on this car. Now, one thing you can do is right here, you can see I have a little bit of a start on what's going to be the head of the dragon. And maybe it doesn't look like much of a dragon yet, but it's all about layering lots and lots of shapes and gradients on top of one another. One cool thing here is right here, this triangle that I have highlighted, I want that to be the dragon's eye, but this is going to be like the eye socket. I want the eye to be a little smaller within there. Now, one thing which I've already done here a little bit, I'm going to show you some of this is I can go ahead and I can select this here. I can say, okay. This is kind of kind of wonky and I can go to layer controls and what I can do is I can, well, you can flip it vertically or horizontally, which helps a lot. That's something I've used a lot. You can duplicate it on the reverse side, on the opposite side of the vehicle. Now that of course you would use, I would not want to use that here because on the other side of the vehicle is probably going to be part of his tail. What I want to do is I want to duplicate this. And as soon as you hit duplicate, I'm already editing the new one. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm just going to hit okay. Now what I've done is I've duplicated that same triangle on top of it, same color, same size, and it's one layer above it. I'm going to go ahead and change the color just so that I, I will be able to see it. 
I mean, it's the first thing. I, I would care less where it's at and more that I can actually see it before I start editing. Let's just make it that color for now. Now I'm going to go ahead, make it a little smaller. And this, I want it to be the actual eye within the eye. And of course, this is just a triangle, which I've used the skew tool on to skew it. And then along with the curve of the car, it kind of made it into this cool little curvy shape, which I really like, which I really do like. I want this to be a little smaller and maybe even angled a little different. And so that's some of what goes behind the, uh, yeah, don't forget, you do have the tools, as many tools as it lacks. There are great tools for flipping and mirroring things on the other side of the car. So I wanted to show you that little, let's go ahead and just hit okay here. I'll work on this eye some more. I wanted to show you that. Don't forget you have layer controls and these are all actually very handy. I wish there was a way to group select layers though. I gotta say and do this. If I did want to mirror this on the other side of the car, let's go ahead and just hit finish here. If I did want to mirror this, I would have to go to each one of these. Click it here, click it here, click it here, and you probably saw me doing this really quickly in the dark deadly car menu. Then go to duplicate on reverse, and I'd have to do that for each and every single one. It's a little, it's a little bit much. Let's go ahead and see what else I can get done on this guy. Now, there's still quite a bit left to do with this. Right now, I'm shape hunting, and this is all about really just shape hunting, finding the one you think might work. Like right now, I'm looking for what might make a good tongue for the dragon, and I think this might. You can really change the shapes a lot by using skew. You're gonna to wanna to see at least part of his tongue. I think we are gonna to wanna to skew this a bit like this. And I think that might be what I want. What we're gonna to wanna to do here, regardless of what I end up doing here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is, let's say, let's go ahead and let's place this and I'll show you as, a, as an example. I know it's starting to take shape. It still kind of looks more like a uh, stylized tribal bird than anything, but trust me, there's still a, quite a bit more to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to move this down below the other stuff. We wanna move this back. So what we can do is we can hit triangle or um, mouse over the thing over here on the right. I can click move layer and then I can move this and we're gonna to wanna to move this to the very bottom. Now I can go ahead, I can you know edit again, just say okay to get me here and I can change the color and make it the color that I want the tongue, which is probably something such, you know, like this. And then that of course above it, which is the lower jaw, I know it doesn't. I know it doesn't look like anything yet. It's going to. It's going to be cool, and I'll keep you guys up to date on this. So that's kind of the basics right there. There's still so much to do on this. I do have an idea how I want to do the the curve of the body of the dragon and make it look 3D. And stuff really starts taking shape. Then let's go ahead. Let's just add a mock layer to show you. Let's let's say what I can do is what I'm going to do for his body. And, and one thing you can do is we have these gradient shapes. Making use of these and sliding these in under hard shapes. Um, can help give you shadows and things like that. And then one thing I'm going to do for his body, and we will see this in an upcoming video, is I'm going to be using, aha, these pieces right here for his scales. By using these different, you know, I guess they kind of look like moon faces. By using these different things and shading them different with the gradients, of course, it takes a lot, a lot of layers of, of decals. But once you do that, you can almost make it look, oh, that's my goal. Make, make it look a little three-dimensional and kind of pop off the car. It's going to be really cool, guys. Let's go ahead and let's back out of here. And, of course, I can't forget to save this. This is going to be something else. This is a really cool car. Of course, when I think Grand Touring, I often, you know, my mind, like many others, goes to BMW and their M-Series cars. So I want this to be really, really cool. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I want to take a look. I want to do want to take one more look at my Dark Dally Renault. GT3 car I have here. I really am very fond of this. I like this a lot, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me what kind of stuff you'd want to see from Gran Turismo Sport. Of course, I'm doing racing too, but I'm really having a lot of fun editing deliveries for the cars. Guys, it's been a real pleasure. Until next time, I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you guys later.